the psyche of your team when you get, you know, last year you went at the end and then you break up for the whole year. Now you're back together. Can you see something in the psyche? I of the saw. Guys? I saw a really. Um, um, I never thought our. I never thought we had a morale problem. Um, I did not. I felt like the guys really worked and kept kept believing in what we're doing and. and Kept believing in themselves. I, I never sensed any issues whatsoever, but I did sense a extra bounce in our step yesterday at practice because now we have we, we did we did win, um, you know, which wins cure some you know they they, they cure some ills sometimes, and um, and I thought bounce in our step and eager to get back on the field and try to do it again. Because last year when you lose and you just kept losing, I mean it just the, the way that builds up the momentum. The opposite way. Now, that, that, that could be that, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that could be a difficult, um, difficult thing when when, when it happens. But now you hope you, exactly right. You hope you build the momentum in the other direction, and that's what we hope to continue to do. Uh, can you assess uh, uh, Clayton Moore now through four games? You know, I thought I thought, um, as, as I said previously, he really improved from game one to game two. Did not make the same level of improvement from game two to game three. I thought he's back on track in the improvement area. Uh, certainly threw some good balls down the field um, last week. Um, you know, um, go route to start the game. There was another go route later in the game. I believe there was the, um, um, the, the two passes to Keith for touchdowns. And I think as a team, and this is not the quarterback, as a team we got to improve our short and intermediate passing game. Um, we have to upgrade it. But he, he, had, he handled the, the, everything at the line of scrimmage um, as flawlessly as he has all season Saturday. Um, with, with, with directing our traffic at the line of scrimmage. And I thought he had a great look in his eye and a great demeanor. He was at, you know, in the pocket, um, so his presence was good. So I thought he really you know, made some good strides. And I, he has a very high ceiling. And each week we ought to see some more strides continuously as we can progress here. Is he, um, because the percentage is like below 50, mm -hmm. you know, is part of that a product that you don't really dump off to the backs and stuff very long? Well, there, there were some. It's a product of the first three opponents being very good and us keeping the backs in. Okay. Okay. And so that doesn't allow the backs to get out. Um, you know, and I'm not. And we're going to play some good opponents as we continue to move through here. Eastern Michigan is a very good defensive team. Very impressed with them. So we're going to have to find a happy medium um, between keeping our backs in and protection and getting our backs out. And uh, that's something we got to continue to work on as an offensive staff and with our team. It's like uh, Keith Skynders has developed into that number one receiver. He looking to spread it out more with the other receivers. Are you satisfied with with uh, Clayton looking at him? And well, no. I, we certainly certainly want to want to be able to spread it out. Um, part of it's you know giving you what the coverage takes you because yeah. it's not we haven't really moved Keith around a lot. Um, so you know so Clayton's done a good job of identifying where the ball needs to go against certain coverages, um, and we need some other guys to continue to grow yeah. um, as we move through here. And uh, um, I'm confident that'll happen, but that has to happen you know for our team. Sure. And, and uh, some other guys got to step up and grow and get better so that we can we can continue to move the ball around. But we, we have to do that. Um, getting the backs involved and the tight ends involved are very, every bit as important as the receivers. You said you thought your lines would dominate, or, or I don't know. If that was well, the right I, know word. Right word. I felt like our lines had a good chance to control the game for us, and, and I felt like they did. Any particular things they did well? Well, I, I felt obviously I thought our run blocking was very good on offense. Uh, um, you know, I thought our offensive staff did a terrific job of scheming up, uh, particularly our toss play. Um, but uh, I thought we really did a good job of moving the line of scrimmage, and I thought we really did a good job of of covering them up and, and really creating the lanes for our backs to to run through on defense. Um, I felt like you know we moved the line of scrimmage a lot in the, the other direction. I thought Orrin Wilson played really well Saturday. Uh, for us, and um, you know, and, and John Griggs on the edge, being as long as he is, he was disruptive. Um, you know, we got to continue to get some good play out of your front um, each week. I mean, that's the offensively, defensively. If your front can play well, then you'll have a good chance to win on a Saturday. Well, let's talk about the kickoffs mm -hmm. and that coverage, and, and where you see that going, or what you can, when you can. Well, do um, clearly disappointed in that. Um, we've we've uh, um, we've looked at our scheme. We've looked at the personnel. We've made some change, significant changes on the personnel end of it. AJ Fox will be our kickoff man this week, um, and we're going to go back and work at it. We're going to do it live in practice this week. Uh, see if we can't get that uh, accomplished. Um, certainly, that's an area that has to improve quite a bit. Um, there's no secret, and um, 
we'll just have to do it. You know, but uh, um, it's it's a um, uh, it's not all the kicker, it's not all the coverage. There's a combination of both there, so we got to get them both fixed. Now, when you talk about change of personnel, are you uh, faster people, more veteran people? What are we what are we doing? A little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. What does Fox give you? Is he deeper, or and why did you? Well, I just I just felt that? like um, through the course of our. Uh, first, uh, Kevin's been battling first more a, a, a little bit of a groin injury, um, so so that has um, maybe inhibited him from kicking it as deep as, as he has early in the season in practice and preseason camp. And um, you know I feel like AJ has been more consistent in that area here uh, as of late. So I think that warrants him getting an opportunity uh, based on practice to uh, to do it. Talk a little bit about the running backs. I talked to you after the game. It looks like we're building some depth there. I thought Bostic shows that first once he gets in. Yeah, the I, I, I think we really um, um, have some good young running backs here. Um, um, Juwan, obviously people talk about him because he's he's getting the most carries and doing the most things, and, and he's able to handle quite a bit. Um, so we, we really have seen his development here from the first week to now, um, just hearing him talk about um, – you know, running it, keeping it front side, not cutting back as much as hearing him understand that concept. That's a huge step for a back. Uh, we like Carl from the first day he walked in the door in training camp. Um, he's got, he, he has really good vision. He really sees it back there. And he's got very quick feet to make a great cut and get his shoulders back north and south. And Broderick's a veteran um, that, that um, will continue to work himself into the rotation and he gets back here. You know, in the first two weeks he really was, was uh, <coughs> not healthy and uh, he's healthy. Um, certainly, Broderick is, is uh, a guy that you know. I think as we, as far as it's all said and done, will be a really um, large contributor to us on offense. With um, Sewell out at least for a while or forever long, I mean, you're, you're still looking for a number two guy, or you think uh, besides Skyners or any of those guys? Well, we're looking certainly. I don't quite, I don't quite um, view it as one, two, three, four. We're looking to have a group of guys step up. So that we can we can run our our pass pattern system, and the quarterback will have the options to throw with the guys if we're all on the same page, if we're all running the routes at the right depth, if we're all working off the, the line of scrimmage in the right way, and uh, that'll give Clayton some more options. So um, Keith has obviously developed um, clearly um, uh, at this point in time um, to to be a guy that we can count on uh, on every down basis, and I'm certain as we continue to develop here, we'll get some other guys to do the same. Do you follow that Toledo situation at all? I, I really did not. Okay. I really did not, except for what I read. I never saw the clip. Um, I never saw the clip. Um, yeah. I only read about it. Um, it's just uh, um, human error is a part of our game, unfortunately. And um, and, uh, and uh, so, and, and I certainly wouldn't like to be on that side of the uh, of, of the human error. I would I wouldn't appreciate that either. But it'd be tough I mean, when you're on the field. Uh -huh. Even on the press by, it can be tough to tell. If the ball goes between the elbows. Yeah, I saw last year we made plenty of kicks that, that, that weren't, you know. Um, <laughs> you're not sure about that. Yeah, it's a, the, worst, the worst seat in the stadium is where, I, where, where I'm standing on game day. That's the worst seat in the whole place. And uh, so you rely on your coaches in the booth and you, and you coach them up and you make decisions and you go through there. But as far as getting a chance to see exactly what happened on plays, there's zero chance that I have a good venue to do that. Be like paternal. Well, it's yeah. uh, we're too, we're we're too just, young for that. You know, we'll, do, we'll just do what we do, and, and, uh, and uh, that's just you know, you, you coach them during the week. Game day belongs to the players. The week belongs to the coaches and the players together. But game day belongs to them. If you've done a good enough job preparing them, you would hope that game day would belong to them. How about, uh, I was going to ask you about no. the hit by uh, Bray Ford. I thought that was one of the biggest hits of the game. Yeah, we we had a few. Yeah. Um, but Bray, Bray certainly packs a punch, oh, yeah. and. and um, that's one of the things you know we saw evident from from really when he first arrived and we put the pads on in in, in the fall that he really packs a uh, packs a punch. We had some we had some good hits uh, I thought during the course of the game. Uh, fires um, up know, the sidelines. That's almost yeah. that's contagious. It seems. Like it that. is contagious. Emmanuel Larte on on the first turnover right. of the game. I mean that that blitz was was well executed, and that's how you want it to happen. Sure. You know. Um, it, it's, it's a physical game, and we got to keep working on our physicality. Eastern Michigan's a very physical team, and uh, they pride themselves on that, and uh, we pride ourselves on that. Um, so I'm anxious for both of us to, to um, you know, 
also to, to get a chance to compete against each other on Saturday. Ron says he knows a lot of your coaches and everything. From what I, where, I would where's say, it all? I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, you know, he coached in the Big Ten, and, and I know Kevin coached in the Big Ten, and Ron was at Arizona State when I was at Arizona for a number of years, so, so I certainly have got, I got to know him a little bit through that, that competitive environment. Um, Phil Snow, his defense coordinator, was at Arizona State when I was at Arizona. Uh, Phil's a really good coach. Ken Karcher, um, got to know Ken, um, you know, because he, he's, he started his college career at Notre Dame. Um, so I've got to know Coach Karcher, and, and he's uh, as fine a man as there is. Um, so they got a, he's got a quality staff. He's, he's got a little bit of a makeup of his staff similar to what we have with some real veteran coaches on his staff. Um, and they certainly have done a really good job. Um, his defensive line coach, Coach Delgado, was a defensive coordinator at San Diego State when Coach Camp coached at San Diego State. Um, you know, so um, he's got a real veteran staff. I think Ron's done a terrific job there um, with that football program. And um, he's certainly got them going strongly in the right direction. All right, now I do another question. Okay, please. You're still going. Please do, Sorry. since the camera's rolling, yeah. Uh, we haven't seen Eastern Michigan for a couple years. Uh, obviously, they've run it 179 times and passed it 77. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's their run first team, or is that just because of who they play? No, I, 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 um, I do believe they, they want to establish the run, and I think they've done a very good job of it. You know, Javante Green's a good running back, uh, and they run the quarterback um, mm -hmm. quite a bit. You know, Alex Gillette, who's an Ohio native, he, you know, um, he runs the ball well. They, they got a heck of a scheme, and they do. Um, they do enough things on offense to cause you preparation problems, um, clearly. And uh, so we're going to have to be, be uh, crossing our eye, uh, dotting our I's and crossing our T's this week um, to make sure we do a really good job with that. And on defense, they, um, you know, number four, Marlon Pollard, their corner, I mean, we recruited him in Notre Dame. He was committed to us in Notre Dame. Then he ended up at UCLA, and now he's at Eastern Michigan. He's, he's uh, you know, he'll be as good a corner as there is in this league, clearly. Um, so they, they um, They've done a good job with their personnel. They do a good job with their schemes. Um, but, you know, more importantly, Akron's just got to improve this week. We've got to go back to work. Uh, we got to get better this week on things that, that um, uh, weren't quite, quite as good last week. And, and we just have to improve and um, be a team that every week is better than they were the week before. And that's what our clear focus will be um, and, um, every week of the season. And it'd be no different um, this Tuesday than it was last Tuesday. We have to improve um, today. Thanks for coming.